This is Bruce Bishop for ChronicleT.com. I'm outside the Southern Ohio Correctional Facility with Chronicle reporter Brad Dickin, who was one of the witnesses in the uh, death chamber with James Filiaggi this morning. Brad, if you could tell me a little bit about how things went in there. Well, um, Mr. Filiaggi was uh, very calm and compliant. That's a phrase that's been used very repeatedly throughout the process by ODRC staff. Um, didn't didn't argue or, or resist it in any way, shape, or form. Um, was very helpful. At one point, when the shunts were being placed in his arms, he even lifted up his shirt sleeve to allow better access uh, for the doctors who were putting in the, the shunts. Um, when he entered the chamber, he uh, got willingly onto the gurney and was strapped down by uh, ODRC staff. He uh, made a brief final statement, um, lasting about two minutes. He thanked his friends and family for su their support. He uh, made a joke about how he was hoping to use his magic uh, once he got up into heaven to uh, help the Browns make the Super Bowl in five years. He uh, asked his friends who were in attendance to uh, look after his daughters, and he also uh, said he um, kind of flipped things up was, was the word he used, uh, kind of describing the mess he'd made. Um, after he was done giving his final statement, he was um, still lying there, obviously, and the warden gave a signal that only the ODRC staff members who were participating in the execution were aware of. At some point, the drugs began to flow. There were three drugs used, uh, one to, to calm him, one to stop his breathing, and one to stop his heart. Uh, it, it, he was awake for probably three to four minutes after that um, began. He you know, was moving around, looking around, still conversing briefly with the warden a little bit, and then he kind of appeared to simply fade off to sleep, um, stop moving. Um, the only real visible signs that he had uh, was dying were his, his fingers turned a bit purplish and uh, his, his ruddy cheeks kind of faded and paled out a little bit. Um, at about 11.22, a curtain was drawn over the chamber, and then a moment later, the uh, warden had the curtain drawn open again and announced the official time of death um, was 11.23 a.m. Okay, and if you could tell us, what you know, what are your personal thoughts having witnessed this? This is your first time in the chamber. What was it like for you? Um, it's, it's kind of a surreal experience. Um, in a lot of ways, it's simply like watching someone go to sleep, although obviously you're aware of what happened. Um, both Mr. Filiaggi and uh, Lisa Filiaggi's family um, had witnesses there. Filiaggi had three friends and uh, three family members of Lisa Filiaggi were there, including her mother, Ellen Jane Harris. Um, it was very quiet in, in the chamber. Um, almost no tears um, were shed. Um, and it, it was just very silent and everyone just kind of watched. And uh, Someone I talked to who witnessed another ex uh, execution mentioned uh, it was very similar to going to a funeral and that's a very accurate description. It's, uh, it's a very somber experience, I, I would say. Okay, Brad, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.